Hello everybody, what's up? The Sports Judge and welcome. Please like and subscribe. If it's your first time, awesome. Welcome, welcome in. Brock Purdy, who is somebody that I thought really emerged into this top quarterback a year ago with the 49ers, somebody that came on towards the end of the season before last with his breakout postseason, is a season away from potentially becoming the highest paid player in NFL history. I mean, frankly, Purdy was impressive last season. And I mean, he had his moments where, you know, he hit some bumps, hit some potholes, then showed he could adjust, get back on track and everything. One of the things I like about Brock Purdy is that he never lets a bad game affect his game the following week. The ability to bounce back from losses, you, you, you talk about him being this guy that uh, makes plays after a bad one, and he was literally in MVP conversation, and yet people have the audacity to say he's overrated. To say he's overrated, uh, to me, it, it makes me cringe. Or that he's a product of the system. Like, what are you guys talking about? I generally don't know why he gets to slander like he does when he was insanely efficient in 2023. In case you forgot, when he did play well, Brock Purdy was locked in, was consistent, and he made the right plays. You know, the 2023 Niners are only several months removed from a trip to the Super Bowl. And who was the guy that got them there? In just two seasons, Brock Purdy has led the 49ers to two NFC Championship games and a Super Bowl appearance. Look at this man's resume. Look at his resume and make your judgment. Make your judgment. But when I look at his resume, I see a quarterback who, if he can follow, if he can follow that up with another sensational year, then he will be that quarterback who resets the market next year. If he continues that level of play, my my best estimate, and I'm just gonna throw a number out there for you guys, I think a Purdy deal would come in around five years and 325 million. That's an average of 65 million per year. And best believe, he's gonna get paid because if they wait, it's gonna cost them more in 2026 if they don't pay him after 2024 going into 2025 and you decide to wait until 2026 if he has a another good year now you're looking at 66 67 million per year for sure if he plays great this season he'll secure the 60 million back and i mean just imagine if he did get that kind of money and how people would react to it because these are the same folks who slandered him. There is no wonder if it will happen or not. There is no wonder if it will happen or not. Oh, it's going to happen. Let me tell you if he gets paid because there are a lot of these weirdos who think he's not an elite quarterback that he shouldn't get 60 million a year. So now would be the right time to say Brock Purdy is that guy. I've been saying this actually for a long time now. I'm completely sold on him. Listen, this guy, I sent this out on social media and, and I'm like, this guy is calm and, and cool minded. And that's what you want in a quarterback, right? His natural ability to extend plays and be so calm every single time, he shows himself to be that way every single time. You've got people out there who sort of look at the world through a different lens and they're not a fan of Brock Purdy. Oh, that guy? Oh, he's a game manager. He's this or that, a product of the system. That Kyle Shanahan system is conducive to producing a get-it-done quarterback and all this other stuff that you hear. And while the coaching and overall talent has benefited Brock Purdy in large part, he has done his part to carry, carry them as well. I thought he put together a solid game in his first Super Bowl appearance. This year, we already 
talked about the pressure on him to win this season. If he doesn't have a great year, then do they hesitate to pay him? I'm not sure they do. I think he gets paid no matter what. Right now, the talk is that he's going to get a deal worth about $60 million a year. The best option at quarterback right now for the 49ers as we speak is Brock Purdy. After him, there's a steep drop-off in quarterback talent regarding the free agent pool. There's not really another quarterback they can look at and say, hey, that guy can be an upgrade to Brock Purdy. And realistically, the 49ers don't necessarily need Purdy to be great. I've talked about this before. They need him to take care of the football and make plays when the game is on the line. That's all they need. That's all they need from him. That's all they need for him to do. I'm confident when the 49ers need a clutch drive that Brock Purdy can deliver. I mean, we've already seen him do it. And as I pointed out before, he's accurate, makes good decisions, and can move with the ball. I love his, his, his play demeanor. What makes him so lethal is his ability to make an accurate throw quickly on his read. He does this well consistently. So if he does have another season where he's polished and producing at a high level, then yes, he's surely going to get paid. No doubt about it. And I got to bring this up right now because people are talking like he's going to be this bad quarterback without Brandon Ayuk. If he has a successful year, that's good news for him because he would get the $60 million. As long as he has skilled position players around him and as long as Kyle Shanahan is the coach running a quarterback friendly system in San Francisco, that's that that's all good for Brock Purdy, right? That that's all good. That works in his favor. That's that's a huge payday waiting to happen. And I think if you're the 49ers, you want to make a strong push to keep Trent Williams, obviously. He and, and, and he's already made it known that he's interested in Stan, but he wants his money. Make sure you take care of him. Listen, I'm not telling you anything wrong when I say Brock Purdy is not as effective when Trent Williams is absent. Absent, It's true. Brock Purdy's not as good without Trent Williams. That's usually when Purdy finds himself getting in trouble. He forces balls, throws high, gets sacked a lot and looks like he's gonna throw a pick on every other drive. Now, when you have a left tackle as good as Trent Williams, how does Purdy look? He, he's deliver, he, he, he delivers dimes with pressure bearing down on throws, an accurate ball, placing uh, the ball perfectly in the hands of, of his receivers. I don't blame Williams for wanting to be paid like the very important piece that he is. Pay him. Pay the man. Keep everybody happy and your quarterback happy as well. Williams is a monster on the line. We all know that. And that would be big shoes to fill for anybody not named Trent Williams. You just can't replace some people. And Williams is one of them. You, you can't replace the guy. For Brock, overall, I think his decision making is through the, the roof. Uh, he's he's going to take... You know, he's going to take control of the offense, and it's going to be fun to see. I have, I have no doubt about it. I'm not at all concerned about his preseason picks. I'd rather see him struggle now than during the regular season. You have time to correct that and fix that before the regular season comes. It was a time when everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people glorified him, myself included. I was under the impression that he he really is that guy because he made, you know, uh, he fits really well. He fits perfectly in a very creative offense. And your mind have to be at the time that this guy will help the Niners because of the system, the, cre the creativity and the weapons around him. He will be. And mark my words, he will be a top 10 quarterback next season. And if he has another awesome season, the year he had last season, if he can uh, do what he did last season, oh, yes, best believe he's going to get paid. And he's going to be the highest paid quarterback 
in NFL history. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for showing me love. I really, really uh, appreciate it. It's been real, but I love y'all, and I'm getting out of here now. Thanks for watching. I'll be back next time. Hope to see you guys again very soon.